I just, our awesome, our God is an awesome God. He has touched me in a big way for being here. I'm going back to Iowa today and hoping my brother's okay. But more often, more, more than that, I am okay. <laughs> Vince. We baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Robert Pringle. I'm from Gillette, Wyoming. I came here with the intentions of just going to Florida, looking for some beach, looking for some honey, you know, whatever, chasing tail, stuff like that. But the Lord clouded the skies. I couldn't even make it to the beach. And if I did, it was so cold, I couldn't do nothing anyway. Nobody was out there. And it started early. Well, we were here Friday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and all through. And the Lord had just touched me in a way that he never has before. And I just never want to go back to what I was. I'm Todd Holden, I'm from Gillette, Wyoming. I came here expecting a lot. I got a lot. I came here to really get close to the Lord. I've got a lot closer. I've met a lot of great friends. But most of all, I want to say that I love Jesus Christ more than anything in the world. And I want to... I've been baptized before. I've been raised in church all my life. But coming to Brownsville, there's something special. And I want to bury the old man, and I'm going to rise as a new man and go home as a new man with Jesus Christ. Can I be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? My name is Nick Bryce, and I'm from Gillette, Wyoming. I've been waiting a long time to come down here. The power in this place is awesome. I want to confess my love for my Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank you guys for the fellowship. I come down here to lay what I have down and leave it here and become a new man in Christ. Jesus, I love you! My name is Lynn Sharp. I'm from Federal, Tennessee. A little old spot, actually called Elora, Tennessee. You know, God is as big in that little spot as he is anywhere. But I want to confess my love for Jesus Christ. He has laid it in my heart. It's time for us men to step up and quit letting the ladies lead the church. Let's get our house in order so we can do what God has ordained us to do. And I'm just glad God has regenerated my love for him. I've been baptized before, but I, I backslid from that, and, and I might have even been playing when I got baptized, but it's time to quit playing, and it's time to start having church. I love you guys. Scott Wingard. I'm also from Fayetteville, Tennessee. I just want to thank Jesus. He, 
I was in the, the pits of drug addiction and the pits of fornication and I, I've been risen up. I've been risen up anew in Christ. I just want to leave those things here today and so they will never rise up in me again. I will never be buried in those pits of hell again. The Lord God has risen me up to walk with him. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God! Woo! God, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. My name is Michael Lakai. I'm from New Britain, Connecticut, and uh, the Lord had saved my marriage six years ago, and it has placed me in ministry, and my ministry had been flourishing, and so the things that I've been doing, I thought that God was okay with it, but last night, Pastor John had preached on taking advantage of God's blessing and mercy, and, and God convicted me in a holy way, and and brought me to the floor and made me realize how I was hurting my wife with my tongue. And, and he told me to come and be baptized because he wants to kill that old man and raise up in me a new man in Jesus Christ. My name's Joshua Guthrie, and I'm tired of going around the mountain. I've gotten lots of knowledge from this conference, but I've gotten fire from God. And I am a new creation, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. My name is Mark Sayampanad and I'm from West Virginia. Coming to this conference has been a great blessing. God has used the conference to touch my heart in two great ways. He has brought me to repentance and blessed me with forgiveness for many sins. And he's also softened my heart that I may forgive also. God is almighty. Today my baptism is a public proclamation of this change. It does not take away from what God has already done. It does not add from what God, to, God, to what God has already done. It's just a public proclamation. Praise God. Hello there, brothers. My name is Shane Haas, and I'm sure that each and every one of you have felt the anticipation, the excitement of having your firstborn or even your wedding. And I would just like to express from my heart that this has got to be even greater. And right now, I just, I would like to place it upon your hearts just to go and receive the world of the dying, of the hurting, Lord, just as you would receive Jesus Christ upon that holy day. Praise God for what he's done in my heart. Praise God for what he's going to do in us all. Let's do it, brothers. can't say nothing. <laughs> we all had something planned to say, I know. <clears throat> I forgot everything. 
I just, I just know one thing. My, my, I don't, I don't know, I forgot my name too. <laughs> So, I'm going to make this quick so everybody else has a chance. Now, I want to be another soldier. I want to be a good soldier. And thank you for Honor Bound and, and Promise Keepers and Brownsville Assembly of God for having it here. Um, when I go home, I just hope that the sweet aroma and the presence of the Lord is in my house. And I just... Oh, <laughs> he already knows. <laughs> Thank you. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Brian Good from Pennsylvania. When I was young, a spirit of lust took over my life and controlled my life for so many years. And I thought when I got married, that would change. And I lusted after my wife for so many years. And, and our marriage was just horrible. And I had the stand in the gap in October of 97. God got a hold of my heart. And he's been working. He restored our marriage. I love my wife so much. And when I came here, I, I've had a burden for my boys because my oldest son, um, who is Andrew, and I love you, Andrew, God knows I do, and I took my anger out on him in so many ways, and, and I know God has forgiven me, and, and I just want to come back to Pennsylvania, a new husband, and a new father, especially to you, Andrew. I love you so much. God loves you so much. And for my other boys, Peter, Adam and Nathan, I'm coming back a new man. The old man's going to die in this tank, and Lord Jesus is going to raise up a new man. And I praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hi, my name is Joseph Outlaw. Uh, I came here with a lot of issues, uh, a lot of pain, hurt my wife and kids for about the past six months, thinking that it was about me. I came up here by faith, didn't have no, no means to get here, but God got me here. And uh, something I've learned from being here is that there's no words to describe God and his love. And that I have no right to judge anyone. Uh, I never really knew how to love until I got here. It was all phony. But I met a lot of brothers here that show nothing but love. And uh, I've been delivered from bitterness and uh, hate, resentment. Braver Buckwheat. I'm from Mancelona, Michigan. I want to give all glory and honor to Jesus Christ. He's changed my life. I was five years old and dabbling in pornography. It led me to a life of, until I was about 24 years old, of massive drugs and alcohol. And the glory of God showed up to me one time in the woods and instantly delivered me. Instantly delivered me. But I still had some other problems. I came down here in about 1996, 
and the power of God touched me in just a mighty, mighty, mighty way. And I got baptized when I was a young kid, but I had, didn't have no any music. That's when I got, got my get out of jail free card. But I realized that in a covenant, two people had to die. That it wasn't just that one had to, one's wills had to match the other ones. And I realized Jesus died for me and I hadn't died for him. And I was sitting there this morning and I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I said, I'm dead serious. I am dead serious. He says, he says son, that's right. You need to be dead serious because dead people don't care. I want to let the devil know right now, I mean business. I love you, Jesus. My name is uh, my name is Mike Zarenko. I'm from Sherwood, Oregon, and it was April, uh, Easter Sunday of 2000 that I walked into New Life Assembly of God for the second time in my life under uh, Pastor Jeff Dorothy, and it was that day after a short drama and a message that I went up and answered an altar call, received the baptism of the Holy Spirit that day, and made the commitment that my life was never going to be the same again. That summer, there was a Promise Keepers event in Portland, and I went with a bunch of guys from my church, looked to my right, I looked to my left, and I realized my dad wasn't there with me. So the first time in my life, I got down on my knees and, and forgave him, forgave the bitterness, the anger, because we didn't have a real tight relationship. My parents were divorced, and I prayed in faith that God was going to bring him to Christ. Three short months later, I also went in front of my church and I declared to them that I was going to pray for him in faith and give up the bitterness and I knew that God was going to deliver him. Three months later, my dad got saved. And I had also prayed that God would bring us together and he would worship next to me at a Promise Keepers event and he hasn't fulfilled that prayer yet, but he brought us to Brownsville. Florida and we're here praising God together and as a bonus he brought my 16 year old brother and we're filled with the power of God and we're taking it back to Sherwood and I'm declaring to you today in front of you church that we're going to go back to Sherwood and I'm going to pray in faith that God is going to save Sherwood as he saved my dad. Amen. Thank you. My name is Chris Werner. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I've been going to church all my life, and I just love Jesus with all my heart. My name is uh, Mark Belchek, and I'm a living example that God could bring you out of anything. I was in ungodly and moral things, and the devil told me that God would never love me or God would never use me. I'm just here to tell you that uh, Satan's a liar, and you can do anything through Christ. Thank you. I'm Matt Thompson from uh, Indiana, Kimmel, Indiana, from River of Life uh, Christian Fellowship. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, the Lord has really blessed me and touched me. Uh, I didn't believe in the pap baptism of the Holy Spirit, didn't believe in speaking tongues. I went to a church that didn't believe in that, and uh, I asked for it, and God gave it to me, and now I'm just filled and bubbling over, so I just praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Mark Himmler <laughs> from uh, Angola, Assembly of God, and uh, I've been a Christian, well, I've been in church all my life. I went to a Christian school, but because I chose to let Satan run my life, uh, I've been backslidden most of my life. But uh, I've never been able to make it stick in my life for some reason. But this time it's going to stick. And I want to go home to Indiana, and I'm going to be a Christian father and a Christian husband. <laughs> of God, I just uh, want to receive the baptism to be buried with Jesus Christ in the, with the resurrection and to be risen with him again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hi, my name's Mark Bishop, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, God saved me just a couple years ago from a $1,000 cocaine habit, $1,000 a day. And he's taken me in a blink of an eye and took me from a crackhead. And now I'm, I'm one of the most 10 best people in my profession in the world. And God spoke to me at this honor bound this week, and he said, Mark, he said, I didn't bless you for the money. I didn't bless you to serve this world. I bless you to serve my world. I bless you to serve me. I bless you to bless others. So I'm getting baptized day in commitment that I'm shedding the old secular world. I'm, I'm in part-time ministry now and I'm gonna go in full-time ministry. Money doesn't matter. You can't take it with you, but you should, sure can take other people with you. Thank you. is Vincent Broadnecks. So I live here in the Pensacola area and um, I got baptized. No, not baptized. I was saved back in 98. <clears throat> and um, ever since then, I still backslid, kept on backsliding until I got into the um, focus group. And a brother like um, Rick Hall, who's a member of Unabound, I talked to him about my problem, but it surprised me that he never did judge me or the brothers that was in the group judged me and they was faithful and through the, and, and through them God showed his faithfulness and uh, I like to say that nobody can out love God because he's faithful <laughs> My name is Jeremy Avila. I'm from Angola, Indiana. I, I don't have a word to tell you what the Holy Spirit's done for me. I can't tell you. There's not human words for it. Unfortunately, he's telling me right now to, I talk too much, so I would have a lot to say, but he just, I'm not supposed to say anything. I love Jesus, and he did this, and I get to it. I'm so happy. Amen. My name is Wayne. God saved me from drugs, a life of full of sin, and uh, 
Today I'm here to rinse away my old life and I come up a new man.